Bell Harris, Garbage Man Piper, coming to you from the studio, my patio. I hope you all are doing well. This is my third video, and frankly, I don't remember if there are more videos I need to make or not. This one's kind of a codger check-in and what's going on. We are at, what is today, 16th? I don't even know what day it is. But we're halfway through the Codger Challenge. Hang on just a second. Got him. Sorry. This time of year, the flies are miserable out in the studio. Um, what was I saying? Codger challenge. So the pipe I chose, of course, Savinelli 626 line was gifted to me by NC Piper Nelly. Thank you, sis. I've had probably 40 bowls in this pipe as of right now. You want to know um, about a pipe, do the Codger Challenge. Um, it's very interesting because when you get Savinelli pipes or any pipe for that matter, you really don't know what the workings of it is. If it's got um, a, like a black stem or something you can't see through, but when they're kind of translucent like this, you really see um, more about the pipe. I have not given this pipe a good swabbing. So you can see it's got some tobacco in it, but down in this area, you can see that it's darker and I use a nine mil filter. Um, that's, that's actually behind the nine mil insert. So they drilled the hole, then they put the insert in and there's a gap there between the draft hole and where they put that insert. So that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, maybe an impossibility to clean uh, back to clear. At this point, the pipe is smoking great. Um, enough about the pipe. Um, the blend I chose was Carter Hall. And I have to say, the characteristics of Carter Hall that I've learned, um, it's a never ending tub. I'm using the big tub that I showed two videos ago. It is amazing how much tobacco they can put in there. I happened to pick up three tubs when it was re-released thinking, oh, I had never even, I've smoked one bowl of Carter Hall in three years. And I thought, I'll buy them. I know there are people in the YTPC, if it goes away, people can't find it. Well, apparently it's here and it looks like it's here to stay. So I've got like two, uh, two closed tubs in the tub I'm working on. And actually I'm glad I bought them. This is going to be a tobacco. I don't know that I'm gonna buy any more, but this is going to be a tobacco that um, I'm going to always have around. The easiest tobacco I have ever put in a pipe. I just grab a pinch of it and I just press it all to one side and feed it in, light it, and you're, you're good to go. Um, it's got good flavor nuances on the retro hell. 
it's not harsh on the mouth. I smoke a nine mil, so the tongue bite's not an issue. It's not overly moist. I put probably five bowls in a little, uh, five bowls of tobacco by volume in a little bowl, and I leave it out until I've smoked that up, which is usually two or three days. Never goes dry. It's gonna probably be one of my travel blends. I'm just gonna stick it in one of the square tins that I did in the travel, ba uh, the travel bag video for Kev Granite City Piper. I, I basically got one of those uh, vanilla flake or dark fired square tins and I just load that and I just keep that in the truck and good night it just it doesn't it never goes dry so i can see why codgers smoked this it just it is a no nonsense you don't have to fiddle with it you don't have to dry it out i just packed a bowl right out of the tub i'm very very pleased with my choice I got to thinking I probably could have picked a codger pipe, uh, but I would have had to thought long about that. This was brand new when I started it, and it's going to be well broke in by the time uh, the codger blend or the codger challenge is over. So enough about the codger challenge. Other than kudos to everybody who's doing it. I've been watching Pat's videos, uh, Bama Guitar Dude, his, his daily updates, uh, some of Nelly's, um, let my Cameron go, Nathan. I watch Flat Cat Piper, Lady Fire. So I've just been watching all the codgers that are that are keeping updates and whatnot, seeing how they're doing, what they're dealing with. And frankly, I'm not dealing with anything. I got a pipe that smokes it well, and that tobacco is a pleasure to smoke. Never thought, hang on, never thought I'd be saying that, especially about Carter Hall. I, I did one bowl and I got rid of the tobacco and gave it away years ago. So anyways, enough about that. Um, what's been going on here? Mm, I've been busy. Basically, I do the day job. Come home, Gay and I have dinner, and then we go next door to the in-laws house, and we work only like a couple hours, maybe two, two and a half hours. All right, sorry about that. I ended the video, but I'll try and edit that out. Um, the guys next door. So we tore the cabinets out this this week and uh, had a couple guys interested in them. There's a double oven and a range top and then all the cabinets. And I thought, why bust them up and throw them away if uh, somebody's interested? So they just paid me for them. They're gonna come back either tonight or tomorrow pick them up. I told him I got to get them out of the garage because we're going to start working in the garage, getting that done, get it painted, get the molding up everywhere so that that's where all the materials are going to come in as, as they come in. So all the appliances will be coming in one by one as they're available. And so there you go. Anyways, Next week, next week there'll be concrete guys, the electricians, the AC guys. It's gonna, it's gonna be interesting. So Gay works from home, which is nice because I'm pretty much going into the the 
the office now, so she's available to open the house up. Thank goodness she's just walking across the flower bed to go over there. But anyways, just a little update. I've probably got three or four packages to get out. And guys, I'm sorry, but the Garbage Man Piper Shipping uh, Distribution Center for right now is temporarily closed unless I get to it on Sunday but Gay and I are taking the Jeep out for some R&R &R up to the mountain so we'll see you know I know I'm sitting here smoking a pipe I could be wrapping packages but gosh you gotta have some downtime right anyways bear with me we're burning it from both ends don't get me wrong I love projects like remodeling and it's a full house reno so it's gonna be it, it's it's fun but it, it can be scatterbrained anybody who's done it this is my fourth house that i've redone so we've got an idea got the builders that got the contractors and gay works from home so she's able to let them in and keep an eye on them so it all works it's just all the coordinating and then the tearing out at night so for the most part, we're not making the decisions. Uh, my in-laws are. And then there's a brother and a sister that have input. So um, the communication is at a high level, I would say. All right, there we go. Just slow it down just for a little bit. Been watching videos commenting not on as many as I should but they start piling up so appreciate all the supporters the subs I know I'm pushing 16 at this point I can't even imagine doing a uh, a giveaway at this point I've got when I do it, it's going to be huge because I've got to do like 13, 14, 15, 1600. So we'll get it figured out when we do it. We'll have fun when we do it, and it'll be a blast. With that, I'm saying Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper, Sweet Chicken Baby, y'all be safe out.